minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, See no fires in the flu vehicle. Field. Supersonic. They're on the MLS. Max Q. You can really see those exhaust gases expanding there. Yeah, as we get into thinner and thinner atmosphere, yep. it's beautiful. Visual, visual confirmation of the thinning atmosphere as it pulls away from the planet. MLS fire appears to be out. I see no other fires on the pad. Look at that. Stage Zero. separation. Stage two ignition. Chamber pressure looks nominal. There are the fairings. There are the fairings. Yeah, you can see them fall away. Look at that. We'll get a little jellyfish. Oh, wow, that's so pretty. <laughs> uh, Just a little hint of a jellyfish. Now's the time to go outside and see if y'all can see this, folks. So now we've gotten all the way through that fairing jettison, and we have a couple minutes until we get that second engine cut off. But the track's out there. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> man. What a great view. It really is. Yeah, so uh, lightning will fire for a couple minutes, but we will see Seco, which is second engine cutoff, at T plus eight minutes and 10 seconds. So we've got just about four more minutes here. Now, a lot of times we see the little ice sort of coming off. You see little pieces of ice and stuff like that. Uh, remember, all this is chilled down. And ice does build up. That's just, I think it's little pieces of fog that it's taken with us. <laughs> this looks like it's the forward-facing payload cam. It is, I believe. That is a payload right up front, I think. Excellent. 
But yeah, all that ice gets nominally either melted on the way through the atmosphere or shaken off during flight to where that added mass isn't any hit to stage two. Makes good sense. It's something we see on a lot of launches. Yeah. Still tracking it down. I just love the colors on this shot. This really is one of the things, uh, you know, you draw a rocket as a kid, you have the pencil flame coming out of the bottom, <laughs> right? And yeah. once you get up there and there's no atmosphere to push that flame back into that sort of pencil rocket exhaust shape, it just, it just goes sort of straight out the sides there. It almost looks like one of those little comic book, you know, kapow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's kind of the shape it reminds me of. So still have it from the ground and we've got video from the vehicle there. Coming up on T plus six minutes. And six minutes, 10 seconds. We've got about two minutes left in the burn of the lightning engine. Man, I wish we could hear it. <laughs> I'm telling you, microphone on the structure. Microphone on the structure. Pick up the it's vibrations. Genius. Yeah. You should uh, you should work with Firefly. <laughs> <laughs> Why aren't you in the structures department? John? I am right now. I'm working with Firefly. <laughs> so. I love the glow as well. You can see it kind of climb up that nozzle extension as it gets hotter. Yep. And they've still got it going down range. That's got to be one of the uh, ground trackers out there at Vandenberg. Coming up on 7.10, 7 minutes and 10 seconds after liftoff. So about one minute left in the burn. Now, I don't know exactly how long we're going to have this link to the ground station with the live video, but we're going to continue showing it to you as long as we're getting it here. There's those payloads again. Well on their way to space. Should be coming up on Seco. Seco. Nominal orbit insertion. <laughs> 